it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're focusing in on how to experiment with and how to set boundaries with narcissistic, psychopathic, borderline abusive people in your life. Boundaries are where you declare the existence of yourself as unique, entitled, human being, authentic, authentic in your personality, authentic in your presence, as opposed to another. A boundaries is an invisible framework that surrounds you, your values, and is protection. It is allowing you to maintain, maintain a certain degree of sanity and presence and existence in your life without being violated. So knowing that you have a safe place, knowing that you have a quote unquote happy place, knowing that there's a place where others cannot tread. And this is not about a physical place. This is about an emotional place where it's an inner sanctuary. It's an inner garden. It's an inner challenge sometimes to others where there's waterfalls that might beat them down. There might be craggy and rough roads in their internal being and in their internal life. But there is a light. There is a presence. There is a being with which you exist in. And that is the experience of being a human being. And the boundaries are an invisible uh, fence, if you will. It's a it's an invisible guardian. It's an invisible state of knowing that you have an authentic personal and private self as opposed to or different than the internal private self of another human being. And when human beings get together, those internal states are able to reciprocate and hear and listen and have empathy and have discussion. And oftentimes when one is in a relationship with a narcissistic individual or psychopathic individuals, those boundaries, those lines are blurred. Those boundaries are violated and one is then made to be taken advantage of. Where one is made to feel shamed privately. One is made to feel inferior privately. One is made to feel less than. One is made to feel unwelcome. One is made to feel insulted and not heard and not listened to. In essence, one is made to feel as if like a caste system as an outcast, where one is uh, essentially invalued. Uh, ex uh, a common term might mean they're made to feel like dirt. They're made to feel like they are worthless. And I'm here to tell you that your consciousness, by virtue of you being conscious and having a heart in a body, mind, spirit, in existence, you are not worthless. If you've been violated, you have lost touch with this feeling of worth. You've lost touch with this experience in life where there's the give and take, the reciprocity the owning of being a person within your senses, knowing that you have the right to see, hear, touch, taste, and feel, and that your experience enough is enough. However, it is really with the narcissistic abuse or psychopathic abuse where one was controlled, one was dominated by being made to feel that they were less than this internal state had to be abandoned. This eternal state had to be shut down. This internal state had to be denied. Uh, this internal state then was replaced by devaluation and one of emotional pain, one of emotional depression, anxiety, self-doubt, the feeling that one is not reciprocating to the happiness of what that narcissist was seeking in terms of their supply. That they could not live as an extension of another. 
meant to become a person whom the narcissist or the psychopath wanted that they could not exist as just an extension of another because that really meant extinguishing their inner life it meant extinguishing their inner reality it meant it meant abandoning that for sake of another and we call this self abandonment or self devaluation or shaming the experience of low self esteem we call this being a source of supply to a narcissistic individual. We call this codependency or codependent traits. And so realize that the experience and knowledge that if you have a body, you are here on planet Earth, and you have a consciousness, a consciousness which means a perceptivity. And it is this consciousness which defines you as a human being. And by virtue of that, you have intrinsic worth, you have intrinsic value. It is known, as is stated in the Constitution, as an inalienable right. You have the right to your legacy in all the history of, of humankind. You have that space and your values are which define you your values and belief about yourself are which create your inner life your spiritual side and your your identity as a human being so when you say that you have a you're a person of character you're a person of integrity you're a person of value that means you stand for certain morals you stand for certain values and you're able to live and abide and behave by these you think thoughts of value and you bring values to others by the act of listening by the act of validating by the act of supporting by the mere act of providing feedback that that is what we need uh, friendships relationships family for is for that connectivity and it is when that connectivity is devalued or severed when that connectivity is made to feel shame based when is not seeing or reinforcing the value of a person which you are and so if that was not provided to you realize that you need as a growing person need to find and establish and validate that existence within yourself you need to own that validation and mirror it back to yourself by yourself you need to depend you need to experience that self-dependence and that is created in the I am by saying I am you're directing your attention to the experience of having a consciousness and so seeing the I am and then followed by that which you value is the experience of consciousness and then with that vision forward you are then able to create that experience and that manifestation in your life so shame and the feeling of being devalued creates a very degenerative state it creates a very low energy state and then to the contrary the affirmations of I am followed by the human values which you which you possess which are within your domain which is your internal real estate you are then able to call upon that which is your inner credibility it's your inner authentic self and your inner abundance which is love which is your attunement to the values and this is really about resonating that within your life and getting in touch with that and knowing that this reaches out into your life and it's not just you know about being entertained it's not just about watching the uh, the sports matches the soccer matches the football the hockey where you're just observing realize that once you become a person of value you need to act upon this value and when you act upon your internal values you then create those boundaries 
and you furthermore need to enforce those boundaries as you relate to others so that they're able to connect to and be in touch with your existence as a human being and your values. And when you enforce that, you request with the most profound of courtesies that others respect and please observe your values and your traditions and see the good that you have to manifest because if you are just allowing a narcissist to project their narcissistic needs they're not able to see feel and bring to life your internal reality as it connects to that relationship so you really need to experiment and understand that your boundaries are declared in the I am and is furthermore declared in the I am not and most profoundly your experience of your internal state is I am humble I am benevolent I am kind I am love I am generosity I am gratitude I am wisdom I am inspiration I am kindness I am gentleness I am empathy and resonating those and saying these again and again and being fluid in this allowing these statements to then resonate through your body because the I am it controls from the top down so your mind and your your brain your neurochemistry then work with your emotional body which sends the messengers to the rest of your physical body and allows you to experience that state and it is likewise important to come in touch with the I am not shame I am not I am not embarrassment I am not berated I am not ridiculed I am not victimized I have no tolerance for that and when you can begin to appreciate that and, and own that reality and being committed to that and knowing with confidence that you do not require abuse in your life to live you do not require victimization you do not require judgment you do not require being condescended and furthermore that you do not tolerate that in your life sends a very clear message and your life needs to have that clarity and that message moving forward and you need to live in that reality which is your internal reality your internal real estate if you will and you need to live in that space and own that space and not put it up for sale you do not sell out to a narcissist you do not sell out to a psychopathic abuser you do not permit them to take your internal emotional property away from you as this is yours this is your birthright you are free in love you are free in truth you are tr you are free when you when you enforce and know those boundaries and know yourself as Plato said know thyself and many of the Egyptian ancients who ruled Egypt and Kemet this was inscribed on many of their temples the civilization that erected the Egyptian pyramids uh, were in touch with a very profound wisdom and that is know thyself simple yet profound simple yet complicated simple yet disguised in so much of society today which is reflected in the chaos the hecticness of of life in information and uh, really devaluing of the other through so much of advertisement uh, so much of advertisement I feel really devalues people there is positive advertisement which pre creates a value and creates real solution but be very careful to protect yourself know that it's okay 
and desired by your higher self to declare boundaries and have an internal life which is not wrought by fear, guilt, anxiety, and obligation. That you own the right to your internal real estate. You own the internal right to your experience and existence as a human being and not a human doing. And that in that being, you're able to open up and you're able to release and experience a higher vibration of energy that it gives you that awareness, that higher consciousness and that safetyness and that bliss, which is meant to be yours and meant to be experienced. And you're meant to call on this and know that this is your truth and your reality. And allow this to connect you up to the heavens and allow this to connect you deep within the earth so that it's rooted in your reality and it goes to the highest of dimensions within your spiritual being. And if you can call upon this vast strength and, and bolt of light in your life, know that this is your consciousness, that it's your higher consciousness, and that that which is immutable, which cannot be tarnished from an abuser. It cannot be devalued because it is yours, because it is your being, it is your love, it is your light. It is that light which can never, ever be taken away from you. You just must call upon it time and time again to carry you through and onward in your life in those boundaries, knowing that I am accepting of the light in my life. I now allow this light to create my existence and move my existence moving forward and that this light I will share with others and I will respect in others and therefore I have power enough in this to not force my relationship with others with a narcissistic or psychopathic individual someone who does not allow me this internal real estate where I place my my value and my value comes with time the more I can exist in it the more I find value in myself and then the more I can give in others. So work on your boundaries. Don't allow external events to control your internal experience. Own your internal experience of peace, love, light, and furthermore harmony with the greater world at large. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools videos, discussions, and support.